Hey, it's Sam with Billetto Services. Today, I just wanted to quickly share with you a new piece of technology that I bought for my HDR work that I'm really excited about. It is the Blackmagic Ultra Studio Monitor 3G. This is a fairly inexpensive device. It's 115 US dollars. Um, it's portable, it's bus powered, but it is a fully capable I.O. box that works in HDR, meaning that I can use this in DaVinci Resolve, I can use this in Adobe Premiere, After Effects, I can use this in Final Cut Pro 10 to send out proper HDR to trigger televisions and desktop displays and other kinds of devices that read HDR metadata and work in HDR that way. This is the first device that has been affordable that's done it. Every other device has cost over a thousand US dollars or has required some form of metadata injector. Now I've been working in HDR for quite a long time and what I like about this is that it's small enough and bus powered that I can just toss it in a bag and bring it with me wherever I need to go. If I'm going to a client site to do demos on an HDR television, or if I'm gonna be doing some HDR grading in my living room or at home in a work from home situation, this little box is gonna get me HDR capabilities on all of the displays that will do HDR. More than that, this to me represents the shift in the industry that we're finally seeing, which is that HDR enabled devices are finally becoming affordable. This is not gonna break the bank. If you're using Premiere or if you're using Final Cut and you're just doing editing or you're doing light graphics work in motion or um, After Effects, if you want a clean monitor output, this is gonna be a good option for you because it also has that HDR capability. So it's gonna be future-proof. It's not gonna be something you necessarily need to replace in the next three to five years once you start making the shifts and upgrades to HDR. Um, it works on Windows and Mac. I've tested it with both. It triggers HDR on TVs. I've tested it with that. And for me, it's just something that's really great and portable that I can toss into my kit and have HDR with me wherever I go and whenever I need it. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you my thoughts on this new little piece of tech today. I have some other videos coming up that I think you'll be interested in, talking about grading in HDR on the new crop of displays like the Atmos Neon, Small HD OLED 22, the Apple Pro Display XDR, and displays like that. Um, and I'm gonna be talking about the new DaVinci Resolve 17 release and what it's given me for HDR grading. Um, as well as some other topics related to HDR. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more tips, tricks, and tools for working in HDR. Until next time, I'm Samuel Billado, and I'll see you soon.